6 if we divide 10 power 10 plus 10 power 100 plus 10 power 1000 by 6 then what will be the remainder right so the number is one second so the number here is 10 power 10 plus 10 power 100 plus 10 power 1000 right it is a sum of uh, three terms this has to be divided by 6 what is going to be the remainder is the question here right I think all of you have got the right idea that when uh, uh, kind of number ends with two zeros, let's say, and if that is divided by six, the remainder would be four. Like, like try and understand. Let's let's take a few uh, numbers to understand this, right? Ten divided by six. When you divide ten by six, what is the remainder? Ten divided by six, the remainder would be four, right? Divide hundred by six, what is the remainder? Hundred by six. See, ninety-six is divisible by six. Remainder is four again, right? How about thousand? Divide thousand by six. What happens when you divide 1000 by 6? What will be the remainder? See, understand, in 1000, 990 is divisible by 6. 996 is also divisible by 6. What is the remainder? 4 is the remainder. You're getting it? See, when you when you look at 100, what are we doing? We are breaking 100 into parts. 90 plus 6 plus 4. So 90 is divisible by 6. 6 is divisible by 6. Remaining is 4. So 4 is the remainder. When you take 1000, what happens? This 90 becomes, let's say, you know, 900. Then we have another 90. I mean, we'll get one more part as 90. Then we have 6 and then 4. So 900 is divisible by 6. If 90 is divisible by 6, obviously 900 is also divisible by 6. So 900 is divisible by 6. 90 is divisible by 6. 6 is divisible by 6. What is remaining is 4. Similarly, when you have, let's say, 10,000, what happens? In this, 9,900 and 90. 9,990 is divisible by 6. Yes or no? Then there is 1, 6. See, what the point is, always 10 is left out. Out of 10,000, I can say 9,990 is divisible by 6. What is remaining is 10. Out of 10 again, 6 is, divis 6 is divisible. What is remaining is 4. Are you able to follow? Similarly, if you have, let's say, 1 lakh. Right? The number is 1 lakh and you are dividing it by 6. Right? You are trying to divide 1 lakh by 6. What happens? In this 1 lakh, 9 la uh, 9, uh, 99,990 is divisible by 6. There won't be any remainder. The remainder would be 0. Are you getting it? 99,990 is divisible by 6 because 90,000 is divisible by 6, 9,000 is divisible by 6, 900 is divisible by 6, 90 is divisible by 6. What is left out? 10. 10 is left out. And when you divide 10 by 6, what will be the remainder? The remainder will be 4. Are you getting it? So the point is, you know, you, when, you, when you have a number which, which, which has got two zeros at the end, right? It, I mean, not two zeros, basically, you look at 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh and so on, you'll always get the remainder as 4. Now the simple thing that to be done here is 10 power 10 will have how many zeros? 10 zeros. Right? Let's let's split this now. This can be taken as 10 power 10 divided by 6 plus 10 power 100 divided by 6 plus 10 power 1000 divided by 6. You getting it? We are splitting each of the terms. What will be the remainder in 10 power 10 divided by 6? The remainder will be 4. Right? 10 power 100 divided by 6, the remainder will be 4. 10 power 1000 divided by 6, the remainder is going to be 4. Yes or no? In each of these cases, we'll get the remainder as 4. But understand, these three 4s which are remaining will get added in the numerator. This 4 will be remaining where? In the numerator itself, right? Out of 10 power 10, 10 power 10 is what? 10 zeros. So 9999999990 is divisible by 6. Out of that extra 10, 1 6 is divisible, 4 is remaining. Similarly, here also 4 is remaining and 4 is remaining. All these three 4s are remaining where? These three 4s are remaining in the numerator itself. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 will make it what? 12. Are you able to follow? 4 plus 4 plus 4 will make it 12. So basically, you are left with 12 in the remainder. But 12 is also divisible by 6. Yes or no? Out of 10 power 10, some portion is divisible by 6. A larger portion is divisible by 6. 4 is remaining. Similarly, from 10 power 100 and 10 power 1000 also, the larger portions are divisible by 6. 4 and 4 are remaining. But these three 4s when added together in the numerator will give you 12. And 12, you know, is divisible by 6. So when you divide 12 by 6, what is the remainder? 0 is the remainder. So basically, I mean, it is, it is like this. You can take 10 power 10 as x plus 4, 10 power 100 as y plus 4, and 10 power 1000 as z plus 4. Where x, y, z are divisible by 6, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is also divisible by 6. So overall, what will be the remainder? Overall remainder is going to be 0 because the complete numerator is divisible by 6 here. Right? So your answer should be 0. What is the remainder when you divide this term by 6? It will be 0.